Jordan Moore and John Jackson. And this segment of Trojans Live is brought to you by Allstate. The Trojans are in good hands with Cam Smith, who joins JJ and I now on Trojans Live here at the lab on ESPN LA 710. And uh, freshman All-American, Pac-12 freshman defensive player of the year. But, you know, it all ended with a knee injury, Cam. And so you spent all your offseason and the end of last season, you know, working on that. How was that? How hard was that rehabilitation process for you? Uh, I'd say the first couple months were tough, but um, it was important to me just be, be as positive as possible, and uh, and all I could do was, was just try my best to get back and be better than before. So uh, that's what I focused on, and I'd, I was in good hands. I trusted my guys that I was working with, so um, I feel really confident in, in you know in the work I put in. You know, reflect back to last year real quick. Um, you know, you had a great year, no question about it, right? But did you, how much of that did you expect, and then how much of that was a surprise um, in terms of accomplishing as much as you did as early as you did? Um, I would say it wasn't it wasn't a surprise. It wasn't, you know, I was just going out there just to be the best player I could be and help my team out. Um, you know, and uh, I think we focused on just being, you know, knowing your role. And, and so I, that's why I was I just went out there and I, and I played the best of my ability and, and just wanted to help the team out. And um, it ended up being a little bit bigger than yeah. I expected, yeah. Well, you're leading the Pac-12 in tackles through two weeks. So, you know, where have you gotten better this year? Or where have you put your focus to get better? Uh, I'd say I'd watch a lot of film on just getting off blocks and and uh, and seeing you know just different blocking schemes work. And um, I feel like I'm seeing the ball really well right now, and just you know seeing the def- the offensive lineman work. And um, but uh, as well as I think our defensive line is is really stepped up, and they've gotten a lot better. Um, so I think overall, just I feel a lot more comfortable out there. I mean, you're under my belt. Well, you, you had a success in last year's system, but now you're in Clancy's system. Um, and not to compare the two, but you're having a, a lot of success in this one as well. Um, you know, fundamentally, what is the difference between the two for you, you know, the, the two systems if you're comparing last year's system compared to this year? You said what, what are the differences? Yeah, like, or, you know, do a yeah. comparison between yeah. the two. Um, you know, I think... Coach Pentagrass focuses a lot on um, every guy doing their their job and us being able to trust everybody. Um, uh, you know, you got to, I got to fill up a gap and, and know that Michael Hutchings is right next to me or, you know, on the other side of the ball doing the same thing. So, um, but I'd say the difference between last year is that, you know, it was a lot more see ball, get ball type defense and uh, two, backing, or two, uh, two gapping scheme and it's a little bit tougher. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like he's he's hold, holding everybody accountable, and I think the leadership on the defense has stepped up, and where everyone feels, you know, like they're they have to do their job, and um, so I, I'd say that, you know, it's working for us right now. We said it. Is there st- is there room in this defense for you to still use your instincts though? Because you know, we used to talk to Sue Cravens about this, which is that sort of balance of hey, I, I'm out here to do my assignment, and if if all 11 guys do that, we're we're in a good spot. Mm-hmm. But Sua, and and you're the sort of the, remind me of, of that same type of player where sometimes you sort of see a play before it happens. So I, is there room for you to 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 read and, and react and 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 have moments like you did against Utah last year where you know it felt like they were throwing more balls to you than than to their own team. <laughs> um, I. I had struggled with this in the beginning because I was like, I'm not, I've never played a one gap. So, you know, I've, I've never been thought like, oh, why would we defend a gap that the ball doesn't go through? And then I, you know, I just started seeing it more work and I was like, you know, I got to be, it's all, you know, it's team. That's how, we, it's how you have a successful defense, but um, it's every guy, every guy doing their, their job. But I had, you know, I talked to um, Rick, Coach Rick and, and also Coach Pendergrass. He's like, I'm, I'm not going to take, ever take you away from making a play. You know, that's, you know, if, you're, if you see something, you're going to make the play. And hit it, but yep. you have to make the play. So um, <laughs> don't be wrong. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So, um, but no, I wouldn't say it ever. You know, it doesn't shy. You can't, you know, back step off if you see someone hit it. And yep. that's when you, you, know, you said that. So obviously, the big uh, challenge this week is to try to stop <laughs> McCaffrey. But you know, um, and I know that the million dollar question is how d- to get it done. But if you're going to have success, let's say today after the game, you guys have had success stopping McCaffrey. What can you tell me today that you say, look, we stopped him because of what? Talking about the first game? Or yeah, we, no, or, or, no, Saturday. We're okay. sort of projecting forward. Um, we stopped them because we tackled them. Okay. Um, <laughs> we just got to get him to the ground? Yep. We watched, watched a lot of film, and he's very elusive in the open field, and that's where he's going to go. He's going to go to the field. Um, but you, you have to tackle him. I mean, he, he's, not, he's not a, you know, I'm going to put my shoulder down and, and, truck and run, you, run you over, but he's, a, he's very shifty, and he's very, um, you know, it's just some people have, trouble tackling them so we got to get 11 hats to the ball and get them on the ground and that's the most important thing 
you know, I watch you, and I, and I know you're a leader of this team. You're not wearing the C this year. My guess is you, you, you'll probably be wearing it next year at this time. But where is this team mentally, emotionally, you know, a, as you lead them into a, a big-time battle? I mean, you had a nice bounce-back week, but you're back close to that, that end of the spectrum this week, opponent-wise, to, to what you saw in the first week. Yeah, I think I think we know where we where we are. I think we we have a lot of confidence in our, in our team. Um, you know, the first game didn't show it as much, but you know, that's who cares? We got to move on. We got to yep. we got to we got to keep playing the next week. And I think well, we're very positive and and um, we're we're right there. We just got to you know we got one big one big win away, and um, the sky's the ceiling. Our ceiling's yeah. Mm-hmm. Sky's yeah. the limit. Sky's the limit. There we go. There is no seal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to get back on that plane of winter. That's all yep. I care about. Yep. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, it, it is a big game on Saturday, and uh, Cam will be leading the Trojans out there and need a big time defensive performance. What a matchup that is with Christian McCaffrey on the other side. So good stage for you, Cam, and wish you luck. Nothing but the best. Forget two points for safety, trapped at 20% with the Allstate Distinguished Driver Discount Safety.